Yo, this your new favorite rapper, Young Sauce to God, and right now we live on the Wake and Bake Show. Yeah. What you got up for the future, man? What you got planned for the future? Man, just keep dropping music, man. Uh, touring, and uh, you know, we just gonna get into some other business, some other avenues. You know, just follow some of the great footsteps. You know, use the music as a platform okay. and expand. You know, expand and branch out. You know, we just continue to be and you know, just keep grinding, man. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just keep elevating. Okay. So, what's your daily three go-to items? You can't leave the house without my water. I drink water every day. Um, uh, my music. Okay. And <laughs> what else I can't leave the house. And, and my keys. I gotta have my keys. Man. Get, man, get yeah. moving. Yeah. You know? yeah. Definitely can't leave without that. Hey, definitely can't leave without no mask nowadays. Well, yeah, that too. We gotta have that. We yeah, got them in the car man. and everything. I get to going places. I'm like, fuck. I done bought goddamn at least about 10 goddamn masks. <laughs> and you may walk in the store and see the sign like, damn. Everything just happening, you know what I'm saying, the way it happened, you know, we get the pandemic, you know, then, you know, the police, police brutality with the George Floyd situation, the Breonna Taylor situation, which still hasn't been any justice for her, yeah. you know, they still in limbo about it, you know, which is really, really just a, a sad thing, man. Yeah. You know, just everything going on, man, it's just crazy right now. I'm talking about and, and it's election year, you know, so how that feels, just, you know, everything was smooth. You know, last year and then, you know, <laughs> towards about the second, third month of 2020, we just went to a total just like shift of everything. I'm talking about serious. Crazy. I'm talking about, then you got Megan getting shot in the foot. Hey. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's crazy. crazy right there, man. I'm talking about, I don't know what the hell to her had going on. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. <laughs> something, was, something was wrong. Something, something hey, wasn't adding up. Right? I'm talking about something. Definitely not adding up. I don't see how. Yeah, you gonna shoot a woman in the foot. I'm talking about aim with pistol at the woman and actually let that motherfucker grip. And then she didn't got down even tell a story. That's he all of a sudden wanna come back and tell her story. You should have told that motherfucker out the grip, but we need to know what the fuck is going on. Right now, yeah. I'm so now about. once you done let it linger for so long, now you don't know what the truth is. Yeah, you know? now what's you, really you, the truth? You, you feeling like you the goddamn culprit of the goddamn yeah. situation. <laughs> yeah, you gotta speak up on the situation. Mm -hmm. He ain't said a goddamn word. Not a word. <laughs> that shit crazy. Crazy, man. Yep, so uh, as far as uh, your new project, uh, you got any new singles that you. Uh, we got, uh, like I said, we got, uh, we got all, that I, all I Need. Uh, it's a lady record. We're getting ready to drop that one. Uh, that's the next single. And we know we're just gonna throw, just gonna keep this throwing, you know, records out there. We got some projects actually, me and Jill for the franchise boys. Okay. We working on our project. Um, we still kind of in the early stages of it, but we got a little collab for the uh, project. Okay. So, how did out. you link in with him? Man, uh, man, I've been knowing them since, man, from the YT days. I mean, they came to Ohio, did a show. We okay. linked up, you know, you know how you do when artists come through, try yeah. to link up with them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we just stayed, you know, stayed the course with them, and then, you know, when, when they popped off with JD, with the Lingwood and Rockwood, and oh, I think they like me, you know, they just always, you know, reach back out to us, like, yo, you know, come on down, so, you know, I'm actually in the Lingwood and Rockwood video. Oh, okay. So, I'm saying, like, I've been coming to Atlanta for a minute, yeah. you know, coming here, and MTV Cribs with them, you know, we just rolled that wave with them, man, and just always had a solid relationship. Oh, okay. And to this day, you know, ups, downs, you know, me and him, we, we locked in. Okay, that's what's up. He was here a few weeks back. That's yeah. how yeah, RIP Buddy, man. I just had to make sure I said that too. RIP Buddy, man. Definitely, definitely. RIP Buddy. But uh, shout out to them franchise boys and shout out to that man, Jill. But yeah, those yeah. boys keep it, uh, keep it solid. Yeah. They definitely, uh, some A-Town vets. They definitely need a lot more recognition. 
Yeah. Like I heard uh, somebody speak to say uh, they don't even have them in the uh, the museum. Yeah, I don't understand how you not. How can you not? I mean, you can't put them boys in the trap museum, and they came with a whole new wave yeah. when they came. Out. I mean, the white tee. I mean, that's legendary. Everybody wore white tee. I'm you know? talking about. Everybody big old white tees. Big old ones to the kneecaps. That's just love. <laughs> back, we had them knee, all the way to the kneecaps back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, three sizes bigger than what you were supposed to have on. All right. Yeah. So, Young Sauce God. What made you come with that name? Oh, man. Um, I was in Carolina, man. I had just, um, I was just kind of just going through a transition. You know what I mean? I used to be in a group. Back home, we was called the Push Up Boys. You know, we was kind of, you know, doing our thing around. See, that's when franchise money was back then. Okay. And then when I got to North Carolina, man, I just kind of like went through that little process where, you know, trying to figure out the next move. Okay. So I hadn't even been doing no music for a little minute. You know what I mean? Just trying to figure it all out. And then um, I was uh, a couple of my partners in North Carolina. I used to do this little dance, kind of like James Harden be doing, where he used to stir it up and hit the three. And I had put a little dance to it, so they just started calling me Sauce in North Carolina. I was like, Sauce. Okay. And I was just sitting there, I was like, okay. And then the music started coming back, and I started getting myself back acclimated with the music. And I was like, man, I got to change my name, man. I said, but you know, I'm rebranding myself now. I'm a whole different artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm by myself, I'm solo. And um, I just kept saying Sauce, and I said, okay, I'm always put the young in front of it. I was yeah. like, I'm still doing the young thing. Yeah. And then I just said it one day, like, you know, Sauce for God. I just kept kind of contemplating about it. And shit, the more and more I said it, the more and more it sounded dope. So I just rolled with it, man. And I was just like, yo, that's what it is right there. And now I built it into something. Okay. All right, so we're going to get ready to drop your new single. Your yeah. new single for the day. And it's, uh, what's the title to it? It's called I'm the Man. Oh, okay, so shit, get to the people. Man, y'all know what it is. Your new favorite rapper, Young Sauce to God. And right now we're getting ready to listen to my brand new single, I'm the Man. Right here on the Wake and Bake Show. Let's go. Damn. I just walked up in the spot with a pocket full of clock. Pussy nigga keep on hating cause his bitch is on my top. I think I might be the shit. Motherfuck who say I'm not. And I think I need a fan cause I'm so motherfucking hot. It's all to God. Yeah, that's me. Hey, we go right back on my shit. Nigga saying I fell off and now I'm right back talking shit. I ain't got no time to play. Man, my nigga be on the go. Can't give a fuck. Sometimes as an artist, because you yeah. be thinking the ones that ah, that's cool, and they be loving, and then the ones that you like, it be the opposite. So it's just like you know what, man. For now on, I just I'm just putting everything out. I'm letting the people decide. Let them be the ones like, because everybody gonna gravitate to what they like. So uh, let the people know where they can find that. At. Man, you can find that on all platforms right now. Young Sauce to God, we on Spotify, Apple, Google Play. YouTube, the video out right now on YouTube. The link is in my bio on Instagram. That's at Young Sauce to God. Um, just everything Young Sauce to God, man. Y'all can find me at it. It's not hard. All right. 
All right, so y'all make sure y'all go stream that motherfucker. We will be dropping that motherfucker on the BKND radio. So y'all will hear that motherfucker goddamn slide through. Definitely appreciate you for coming in. Oh, man, in no doubt, man. No, no doubt, show, man. You know what it is, man. Show, man. You got any shout out this morning? Uh, man, I just want to shout everybody out there doing their thing, man. Just keep, you know, grinding. Keep God first, man. And, um, you know, that's it, man. So y'all heard it right here for Sauce to God, man. Let people know once again where they can find you at. Man, you can find me on Instagram at Young Sauce to God. You can find me on Twitter at Young Sauce to God. YouTube Young Sauce to God. Just type it in, man. It's going to pop up. <laughs> All right. So, man, y'all stay tuned, man. We right here at the live this morning show. We got DJ No Reason in the building. Finna crank these. Hey, then we got more back from Lady Storm.